Well, it's New Year's Eve in the village, and look where I'm at. This is the brand new Copper Q store. This is a culinary store that opens on January the 1st, in the new year. Let's go in and talk to Linda Stalkup, who is the owner, and take a little tour. Look at this, folks. Have you seen such a store? A one-of-a-kind, not only here in Big Bear, but I think it's a one-of-a-kind on the whole mountain. And a great asset. And of course, our workers are still working here. They're going to work really, really, really fast, really hard to get it open by the weekend. Hi, Linda Stalka. Oh, yeah, I, I can't, I'm amazed. I mean, this we've been anticipating this for three or four months yes. while the construction. Yep. But this is your idea. Yeah. Didn't have anything to do, so you thought, oh, we'll open the culinary I store. I came home and I was bored, so. <laughs> I know. You know we're, this, we're excited. This is such something we've been working on for a long time. And I know excited. it. Yeah. And, of course, you and Kent, you purchased the property. You totally remodeled this building. This is an old building. Yep. Brought it all up to code. Yep. And look at the ceiling, folks, and all over there. I mean, have you seen such a beautiful, beautiful job? Now, this is what we call a culinary store. It is. It's a it culinary just... store with an espresso shop inside and a full show kitchen for demonstrations and cooking classes and everything. Isn't that going to be neat? So, and you have a cordon bleu chef. We have a that's chef that's going to be on staff. Cooking inside, and she'll be doing pastries and. We have, um, we're going to invite guest chefs from the village and from all around Big Bear to come and do demonstrations in the kitchen so people, they can promote their restaurants and their wonderful cooking. I know, how neat. Now, we're early. I mean, you're still unpacking things, getting things done. But in the back, where I see you see the hood there, that's going to be the cooking demonstration yes, uh, section. Yes, it is. And, of course, uh, over here, look at these cases you're going to have, if you're going to have a cordon bleu. Pastry chef, yes. you're gonna have pastries, I'll bet. We are. We're gonna have fresh pastries every day, and you can. I shall actually be cooking inside the kitchen here, so the smells will be wonderful, and it's gonna be just a, a real treat. Boy, it is. And look at the unusual uh, kitchen and, and dinner items. Lots of tableware for the tabletop. Uh -huh. So lots of professional cooking tools, and we have some high-end appliances, and there's something for everyone. We have lots of different. Um, items people can buy for gifts. Also, you can some of the things you can find at Sonoma Williams. Absolutely. You can find here, which is absolutely. the quality goods. Absolutely. That is so good. You know, it really pays to buy quality, particularly in cooking. It does. It, it does. You use them every day. It's the things that you spend most time using. So right. They're good investments, and you mm -hmm. have them forever and pass them down. And we have copper, of course, which is a forever. Oh yes, for oh, forever. And then for of course it's Big Bear, so we have to have our wonderful cast iron. It goes right in your your camping cooktops, your Oh oven. that's right, okay. sure. Yep. Look at the aprons. Yep. All awesome. neat with the uh, bears and the mooses on it. Lots of fine tea sets and just fun things. Lots of uh, great kids um, selections for parties and really neat stuff. You bet. And again, it's gonna be a store where I was, if you have a hard to buy for a friend yes, and you don't know what they think, oh man, every woman needs a, I mean, can use anything from the kitchen yeah, or to cook. We've got more, more interest from gentlemen in terms of the cooking classes. We've had a lot of men that have asked about the cooking classes. Really, yes. Gonna start, yeah, we're going to do... Um, you know, chili cooking, um, outdoor barbecuing in the summertime. We have a big patio that we're planning. So there's a lot of things, tailgating parties for your um, football games, and we'll do side dishes and all those types of things so that people can pull together very easily entire menus and make it simple instead of having to try to think through everything and go through five different cookbooks. We're going sure. to put it all together. Isn't that great? It'll be fun. And we have a whole selection of really nice appliances, and plus around the corner all the professional cooking tools. Oh, right. Now you said uh, when you when you said appliances, you mean the small appliances, yes. like the blenders exactly. and tabletop appliances, right? Appliances. Okay. 
kind of time. You can hear the construction still going on. You betcha. You got to get open. You're going to try to get open this weekend. That's what I'm trying. It might be so, early next week, but we'll be very close. I know. And we have a whole section that we're keeping that will have larger cooking classes. We can do 13, seat 13 at the demonstration show kitchen here, but then we have a full room in the back that's still under construction that will be for full. Oh, really? Private events, private parties, wine pairings, all those kinds of things will be in that back space. Really? Yeah. So this is something. It goes on and on. This is, a, I think, a 10,000 square foot building. And this one is 4,300. 4,300. Then we have another building in the back. That's where Kent, the Stalk of Landscape. Right, Stalk of uh, Landscape, and Landscape Innovations is going to be yep. headquartered. Yep. Going to be all together. Yep, absolutely. And I see there's uh, jams and gourmet items over there. Yes. We'll pan over there. We have a lot of um, French foods, imported foods, and they're going to be designed to use in the cooking classes. So they won't be something that you just buy as a gift or sit on the shelf. It'll be something that will be incorporated into the actual oh, sure. cooking class. And if you'd like to walk back, you can see where we have all of our cooking tools. Yeah, right. come on back. Let's walk on back. Hi. And... Hi there. How are you? Happy New Year. Good. Look at this. Look at this, folks. Good. Stop here and take a look. These are lots of... Um, French imported um, vinegars, oils, uh, pestos, jams, and then we have a wonderful company on this bottom shelf here from um, Central California, so we're fe featuring this, some local, um, their vinegar makers, wonderful. Oh, wow. Yeah, really amazing stuff. That's a beautiful case. Isn't that pretty? For sale? Yes, the furnishings are Everything for sale. sale. Everything's for sale. You bet. Let's get around the corner here. Okay. Lots of linens. Oh, yes. Getting everything nicely stocked, but there's some very affordable pieces here and some higher end pieces, so there's something really for everyone. For everybody, that's good. Yeah. We're carrying all the Emile Henri cookware down at the bottom, that's all the bakeware. Uh huh. Lots of linens, um, all the cordon bleu um, professional cookware. Wow. The OXO cook tools, um, Chef Planet. Oh, yeah, sure. Joseph and Joseph, some great wines for. All those gadgets and things that you need. I know I have a friend who does my cooking shows. Mm -hmm. And all of hers is from Sonoma Williams. Mm -hmm. And she's just a really believer in buying uh, items that really help you in the kitchen yeah. Yeah. and items that last a long time. Yeah. And you don't realize how much you use those pieces until you're reaching for them all the time. So you might as well invest in getting the good ones. That's right. That's for sure. This is pretty. This is pretty neat. All of our countertops are made of recycled glass. Oh yes. So we tried to do everything as green as we could. The flooring's bamboo and recycled porcelain. Really? Yep. Our vintage um, pastry cases are all vintage. So we tried to keep things out of the landfill and make them as um, recycled, including recycling the entire building. Oh yeah. What's the uh, artichoke piece there? That's just a big sculptural piece for the middle. It's food and it's, uh, it makes a sure. nice, nice piece. We have candles that smell like. Sage and basil and thyme. And really? Yeah, and we Viking and Breville appliances. And look at these and quality. You buy this mixer, you'd never buy another one. Never. That's the Cadillac of all mixers. Right you there. bet. And a beautiful all, color. All these items here. Yeah. And we're going to be doing I mean, classes on how to actually use these appliances too. We have large juicers that, you know, juicing vegetables and fruits is so good for you, but people think it's so complex. And sure. It's, it's really not. So we're going to be actually running classes on the use of a lot of these things. That is so neat. Now you have two chefs, don't you? One. Well, we have a pastry chef, and then she's married to a chef, so we'll have. Access oh, okay. To, we'll have access to some. Sure. Other and yes. then you're going to invite chefs and cooks yes, from from local, yeah, local, from local restaurants, restaurants yes. to come in and, yes. and highlight and, highlight what they're doing and use the tools and maybe use some of our products so people can get a sense of how easy it is to actually. Sure. Use and hopefully they'll promote their restaurants and bring people back into the village and make sure that we're keeping things moving with locals. Right. And, well. and what's really neat, you have plenty of parking. We do. We this is really 15, good. Off-street parking. Yeah, 15 spaces back there. Right. And we're going to be open early in the morning, um, about 7 o'clock, hoping from 7 to 7 every day. Really? So we really want to get locals to use the coffee, and we have full, a full espresso bar back here with two uh, big Italian machines and really high-end coffees, and it'll be fun. Just a good place for people to come and sit. We have tables, and especially in the... Um, Summertime. Uh huh. We'll have the big patio going, and be, I think a really good destination. This is so exciting. I'm excited. Everybody in the village is exciting. Well, I'm excited. They're excited. I think 
and you tie with a new Grizzly Deli yes, too, absolutely. and yours, I mean, we've got some nice stores. I believe so too, and I, I'm so excited to use, I would like, when we're doing cooking classes, to use their food products in here and let, you know, just kind of join the village together. So I know it. It's been so helpful. All of our neighboring United Wood Craftsmen rejoice across the street. I know. Um, Blondie's, the whole complex right there, has been fantastic. I know it. There's, there's great people. Uh, who is this? We gotta look at this, this one, gorgeous yes. girl. Hi, this sweetie. This is. Um, How old is she? Three. Three years old. Yes. Ah, uh, yeah. I love kids. A Give boy. me a kid, and I'll film them every time, She's sucking their thumbs. She's not a kid. <laughs> she is not a kid. Oh, you're not a kid. No. You're a young lady. Ah, uh, you betcha. That's the. And we'll be doing cooking classes for kids as well. Cooking camps for kids. Really. Cupcake clubs. Cake decorating, anything we can think of to bring kids and, and to the, you know, into the village, and we sure. have a space for them back there. So it's a fun, a fun place to have parties, all that stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. that is so neat. It's I exciting. tell you. And if anyone has any other ideas for us to include, we're open for all suggestions. Except well, good. Yeah, this is really good. And you can see how many around uh, the... 13 at the show kitchen. This is called an exhibit kitchen, folks. Yeah, and exactly. Where he can uh, watch everything. Exactly. And there's the range back there just being installed right now. So uh -huh. Everything has been brought up to restaurant code, the whole right. facility. So we can have um, parties and events and, you know, get, all, get everybody involved. You'll probably have a... Uh, a grand open house yes, once sometime down the line when exactly. you get everything done. Absolutely. We're really excited to do that. Sure. I know it. Well, uh, you've invested in the village and invested in the future. Yep. And of course, the Stall Cup family been has here been for a here. How long? We're not going anywhere. Our kids are here and they're still here. So this was a really good um, investment for our home. Yeah. Family. A lot of people don't know Charlene, and mm -hmm. of course, she is. Still working. Yes. How old is Charlene? Oh, I, I wouldn't tell you on camera. No, I'm not, I, that's right. She won't tell you. Yes, no. But, but she's up there in she years. Has a very she's been 38 teacher. years yeah, director yeah. of the Co op in the Pines yep. preschool. And this one is in Co op in the Pines. Really? Uh, and her sister Quinn was in Co op in the Pines, and her dad Kent was in Co op. And my in grandkids were Co op in the Pines. It's, it's a wonderful school. That's right, it really is. She's an amazing person, an amazing teacher for these kids. Yeah. And so my friends there. All your friends. And also, your husband, Kent, of course, very successful in yeah. landscaping. Yes, and he has his and home services business. And he has a home service, too, which offers uh, cleaning, opening, closing. Yep, yeah, good for full-time residents as well as second homeowners. Yeah. It does everything, snow removal, yeah. all those kinds of things. So we're trying to make it a nice one-stop shop. Sure. For the whole family here. Before I go, how did you uh, choose the name The Copper Q? The Copper Q was named after the first daughter, Quinn. My older daughter is eight years old, and her name is Quinn with a Q. And copper is just my favorite cooking tool ever. Um, so we just combined the two together. And we're going to have to come up with a J. So oh, yes, have to come up with a J. Suggestions for a J. Yes, silver J. You have a J. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's neat. Well, Linda, thanks so much. And folks... They plan to open this weekend. They're just racing, as you see, like mad. And uh, if they don't get open this weekend, they'll certainly be open the first of the week. So get in here and browse at Big Bear Valley's newest store <laughs> and meet Jay. <laughs> the <Copper Q. laughs> okay, at the Copper Q, located on Pine Knot in the Village. What's the address? Six six forty five. Pine Knot, folks. Look at in here. You're really going to be amazed at this great addition to the Big Bear Village. Well, there you have it, folks. Big Bear Village's newest unique store. Ah, oh, isn't it going to be something? Ah, oh, anyway, it's called the Copper Q. And it's opening for business. Being open every single day, right here on Pine Knot in the Village. Now don't go away, I'll be back after these commercials.
Well, Happy New Year, everyone. We're in the village. And look, the ice garden ice rink.